Hey, it's Yasmin Tanras here with Long Beach Local News and on this beautiful day we are in front of the Washington Middle School for this impressive mural that is being painted by the community of Long Beach. The rescue mission has partnered up with its women's shelter that the women come over here with their kids as well as any other volunteers to paint this prolific mural that is designed to represent diversity, inclusion of all ages and just to create a beautiful city that will be colorful for Long Beach. How did you get involved as part of the rescue mission and specifically the women's shelter? Well we were able to meet somebody from the Arts Council for Long Beach and they told us all about the mural and what it represents to the community and of course we're right across the street from the mural and we do house um, several women in our program and we're always looking for things to keep them busy and to really provide therapeutic opportunities and so when we presented the idea they were really excited about it um, for many of them this is the first time they paint anything and they have fallen in love with it and um, so we're just really happy to have this partnership what other um, therapeutic methods are there for the women in the shelter? Um, we do offer a full one-year program that is um, filled with a lot of different opportunities for them to help them get back on their feet and that includes anything from we have a classroom that provides computer training to we have uh, uh, work therapy so we just offer a lot of opportunities to help them get back on their feet and those that have chosen to take the art route what kind of results have you seen what kind of impact have you seen on them well this is actually a first for us to partner with the art council for Long Beach and so hopefully this is going to open the door to many other opportunities to bring out artists and help our residents um, experience a therapeutic session and and maybe um, you never know maybe there's somebody in our program that just really falls in love with it and and makes this part of their future well they can find us at our website um, www.lbrm.org or you can call 562-216-7614 this is a collaborative project that the Arts Council is spearheading and it's a collaboration between Washington Middle School, um, the District 1 Council Office, um, Habitat for Humanity and also Edison International and so um, there, there was a desire to do a mural in the first district and um, this wall seemed like a perfect fit and we wanted to be able to engage the community and be able to um, do something at the school because we knew that the school wanted some more art um, and it's kind of evolved in, as this collaboration. And so it actually started, it's, the community's been involved from the, from the beginning. We did a public call for artists. The community selected which um, artists and which image they wanted for this wall through a series of, of community events. And we also took, took community input at um, different events like Beach Streets, um, at some events at the school. So really from the beginning, this has been a, a community mural with community input. That, so the community's chosen what they've wanted for this wall. Art is, is such a, a way for people to engage in a passionate way and a way for people to express themselves, especially in times that are difficult. It, it can be very healing, it can be transformational, and to have public art is something that everybody can engage with. You don't need to walk into a museum, there isn't a, a barrier. Anybody passing by can see something like this, can engage, and can feel like it's a part of their city and that they actually are represented in it. Well, we've been watching the debate about whether we should build a wall along the southern border and most experts have said that that would be merely symbolic because walls don't keep out drugs from coming in and most of the illegal border crossings are happening at ports of entry not out in the open so the wall would be merely symbolic and so we thought what is the opposite symbol of a wall the statue of liberty so we wanted to see how would those two symbols interact and that's how we came up with the idea the community is actually out here painting even at the moment. We're on day seven and uh, basically it's just been really awesome working with putting down a nice like coloring book style outline and having the kids, having the community, passerbyers coming by and being able to fill in an outline and even hear a little bit about how they relate to the wall. For me, this project means a lot because I feel so much of these debates Brian's talking about happens behind a screen, right? 
And so for it to be able to be out in the community in a physical space where you're confronted with it daily and you have to like talk about it, that's why I think this is important. How is it that both of you found each other and as also part of the uh, rescue mission, you also have women a part of it and right here in Long Beach at the school, how did that come about? Well, Kenny and I have actually collaborated on a, a number of projects over the years and so this is just one of a uh, few collaborations we've done. The uh, rescue mission was a beautiful moment when they came out, saw us painting the other day and joined up probably had maybe 40 hours of volunteers on this wall so it's been uh, really helpful really awesome very therapeutic you know I really enjoyed it at first I was kind of like mm, I'm gonna mess it up but now I'm really into it and I don't want to I don't want to leave now <laughs> yeah. yeah it does take your mind off of everything and just be able yeah. to relax and just focus on painting how has this been so helpful for you as part of the rescue mission as well and getting the community together what does it mean for you to be a part of this project it means a lot. It's very empowering, you know, to have a community work together, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what the world should be about, helping each other out and, and putting back into, you know, the world. Yes, yes that's a, it touched me how when they said that they had all different ages and my son was out here painting too. So it's just beautiful. It's like a family. So if you'd like to get involved and volunteer and be a part of stroking this impressive wall, come on Friday and Saturday from 2 until 6 p.m. to be a part of the fun that brings the entire community together and stay posted on when the unveiling will actually be, which might be around the 6th of September. So stay tuned for that. You can check out more news and updates on longbeachlocalnews.com. I'm Yasmin Tanris.